topic is uh, change your mind, change your situation, or actually that's the, the title of, of this video here, uh, is um, change your mind, change your situation. And I want to, I guess, use myself as an example. Um, I talked before about my experiences when I worked at Walmart. Some were good, some were bad. Um, but I will say that after a while uh, of working there, you know, I was making probably less than $400 every two weeks. Uh, that wasn't obviously, it wasn't cutting it. You know, I mean, I was married with two children. I wasn't making a lot of money. But I, and I was in a pretty bad situation, basically. I was juggling shut-off notices, uh, barely any money to do anything extra other than basically work and go home and, and just sit around because there just wasn't much money to do. Uh, anything else uh, and I knew I had to change my situation I knew it I knew I had I, I couldn't expect my life to improve by continuing to do the same thing I mean you've heard many people say the definition of, of insanity is doing the same thing over and over but expecting a different result uh, I realized that I could not do the same thing over and over I could not continue to keep going into uh, Walmart and working and expect my income to drastically increase, expect my quality of life, expect to even be able to afford a car. Uh, and I realized that also, uh, I realized that about myself as well as looking at the others who work there with me who had been there longer than I had. I, I think I worked there roughly a year, but I'd seen and talked to people who had worked, um, you know, seven, eight, nine years. I, I, there was a woman who was on the brink of retirement from there. And I just looked at their quality of lives and not that they, I didn't, I had a problem with their quality of life. It's not the quality of life that I wanted for myself, my wife, and my children. So I decided that I had to change my situation. Uh, one day, uh, probably about two hours into my shift, I just walked up to uh, my manager and I just told him I quit. And I uh, called the wife and I just went home and I sat in my, I sat in my uh, house and I told her. So, you know. Nothing was ever going to change with me continuing to go there. I was never going to save enough money to go somewhere else. I was never going to have the time to do anything else other than work at Walmart because it was just too time consuming. And it's not a problem with just Walmart. It's a problem with most of your unproductive activities, I would call them, or unprofitable activities. As long as you're doing those unproductive or unprofitable activities, it's just eating up time from you and, and taking energy away from you doing something that's going to get you to the next level. And so you really need to stop. Just stop. And I'm not telling everybody to run out and quit your job. I'm not telling you. I, I, that's what I did. And that worked for me. But it's because I had a backup plan. I had a skill set that I knew I could go out and make as much money as I was making at Walmart and have more time. I knew that I could always depend on my computer skills. Uh, or that eventually something would work. And I also had the confidence in myself that if things got tough again, I could simply go out and find another job to kind of uh, be a bridge from, you know, o over a tough time. Uh, and that's what Walmart was for me at that time. It was a bridge from one time when my freelance business uh, wasn't doing so well to the next time when I realized that there was something else I wanted to do. Uh, and so that's what I use. A lot of a lot of things in my life have been uh, bridges. A lot of jobs actually have been bridges uh, that help me get from one place uh, to another. Sometimes I don't know where my landing place is going to be. I just understand that I don't like my current situation. I find a bridge to get me to my next situation. Uh, and so what I'm saying is, you know, you have to look at that, and you have to say, I don't like this current situation. Maybe you're in a relationship. You're being abused. Uh, maybe. Maybe you are in a dead-end job that you don't like. You know, maybe you don't... I, 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 there's, there's any number, any a myriad of reasons uh, where you don't like your current situation. And what I'm asking you and what I'm telling you to do is to take a step back. Think about the situation you want to be in, realistically. And then set a realistic goal to get there. I've got my goal. Here's my plan to get to my goal. Now, what is it I'm doing in my life right now that's going to keep me from getting to that goal? I think a lot of people have a problem with change. A lot of people are afraid of what's going to happen if you change. I'll tell you this. If you don't change and you are currently unhappy, don't expect to, to become happy all of a sudden. If I'm in a bad job, I'm not making any money. 
and I, I'm, I'm not even being able to pay my bills. I can't pay my bills with the job. If I quit the job, I'm still not paying my bills. Well, what would change? The difference is I'm not in a crappy job. I get a chance to go out and find a new job. And I have to have confidence in myself that I can find a new job. If I can't, I need to go improve my skill set. I need to go and, and, and do what it takes to get me in a position that I want to be. You can't depend on your friends, your family, your religion. You have to be the change that you want to see. You have to be the change.